Some say 2019 Bowman Chrome is hot, while others say it's a dumpster fire. Which side of the fence do we fall on? Find out in this latest episode of Gut Reaction. Welcome to Gut Reaction. My name is Christopher and this is a product review video series in which I bust open a product and I give it my review based on my opinions and my opinions alone. Anything that I like, I give a plus and anything that I don't like, I give a minus. Today we're going to be talking about 2019 Bowman Chrome, which just came out last Wednesday. It's repeating the same formula as last year, two different configurations. You've got Hobby and you've got HTA. Hobby is going to give you two autographs per box, while HTA is going to give you three autographs and nothing else. Hobby this year is going to actually mimic Top's Finest, in which you get two mini boxes per master box and one autograph per mini box. Perhaps what's the most divisive part about this product? The checklist. It's made up of mostly prospects, which Bowman likes to do. It is the prospect product, but they've also included veterans and rookies and stars and uh, you can even find some retired players in this set. And this product seems to have divided the hobby genuinely right down the middle. Either people hate it or they seem to really enjoy it. For instance, take a look at this comment from Harry Sasquatch over at the Blowout Cards forum. He seems to think that this set may cure his FOMO of Bowman products altogether. On the other hand, we did also run a poll on Twitter, which seems to make me believe that the more standard collector, those who aren't really in it for the prospects, were just there to chase their team, they seem to really enjoy the Bowman Chrome experience this year. From what I can tell, prospectors and those who really don't care for prospecting didn't really enjoy this year's Bowman Chrome, where in general, the rest of the hobby that collected this set seemed to like it. I'm probably gonna get some heat for this, but I really did like what Topps did with the checklist on this year's Bowman Chrome. Being that Bowman and Bowman Chrome are all about the prospects, that's what they have to rely on. Well, Bowman Chrome this year didn't have a ton of really high level prospects to lean on. So what they did is they padded things out with hot rookies from this year, such as Pete Alonso and Vlad Guerrero Jr. Uh, they also relied on some of their bigger stars and even retired stars, such as Derek Jeter. I'm here for the prospects, not some old washed up has been. Really? Of course, being that this is a prospect product, you're talking about the long game here. If you are prospecting, maybe you're also flipping, and you're hoping that the cards that you pull are gonna end up being worth something right now and then worth something more even later. But nine times out of 10, maybe the odds are worse than that, those prospects on the checklist don't pan out to be anything. We're all waiting for the next Mike Trout, but who knows, that top prospect, Noel Dean Marte, might turn into the next Jason Tyner. We just don't know. And it's that prospecting bit that I really think has inflated this year's prices. And I, I just didn't really like where Bowman Chrome was sitting as far as prices go. To make matters even worse, I read that pre-sale prices earlier this year for hobby boxes of Bowman Chrome were around the $60 to $70 mark. I can tell you for a fact that I paid more than twice that when I got to do my pre-sale purchase. And what that's telling me is that distributors and resellers and maybe even tops are taking advantage of prospectors. It's called a free market. Sell at the price the buyer will pay. Econ 101. Learn about it. One thing I did really like about the design this year was the variety of color. Now, while I'm not a big fan of the three-quarter border design that they implemented on their base design and their prospect design, I did really enjoy how the color just pops off the cards. Now, it was a little bit borderline on the amount of parallels, but the parallels are different within each subset. You can get shimmers in one subset, you can get atomics in others, so on and so forth. There seem to be about anywhere from something like nine to 14 different parallels per subset. Seems a little bit overwhelming, but 
I still love how it looks. Even the regular refractors are pretty easy to spot this year with the stamped number on the front side. Uh, if you flip the card over on the back, you can also see that there is a designation that says refractor on the back. You see that? No? Minus. Hey, they got his tweet name on there too. You should send him to Twitter. You mind? My point is the text is so tiny, plus black text on a dark background is not readable. <laughs> I just wish, listen, Tops, you've got amazing designers on your staff. I just wish that little details like that would get fixed, would be addressed. Black text on a dark background is not readable and tiny text printed for Ant-Man is unnecessary. A problem that's plagued Bowman Chrome in the past have been the dupe autos. And I can tell you that not only did we not pull any dupe autos, I haven't really seen that as an issue this year with Bowman Chrome. So you fixed that, I think, I hope you did. At least it seems like you did. So you're gonna get a plus for that. And hey, look at that. We only pulled one redemption this year too. So hopefully that means Bowman Chrome is really light on the redemption this year. You'll also notice that it's only the base autograph. And there's a pretty good reason for that, at least I think anyway. There are a ton more base autographs to sign for the talent than the rest of the parallel. So I would assume that would take more time, uh, not only to print and manufacture, but also for the athlete to sign. So it doesn't hurt my feelings that I pulled a base autograph redemption. Now, if it were something like a Super Fractor Redemption that never got redeemed and uh, that counted as a hit on the product, well, that would be, but you know, this isn't too bad. Now I am gonna harp on tops a little bit about the checklist. I know I gave the checklist a plus earlier, but I'm gonna have to give you a minus on something. It's the inconsistencies. I saw it for myself this year because we pulled uh, Luis Garcia's autograph out of Bowman Chrome this year and it had the first Bowman designation on it. Last year, the same Luis Garcia in the same Phillies organization had a Bowman Chrome card, 2018. What did the card say? First Bowman. Well, clearly this year is not this Luis Garcia's first Bowman Chrome. Uh, it would be nice to see Tops keep track of that. I don't know if there's a spreadsheet they need developed. I know quite a few people on Twitter and in the hobby that are really good with spreadsheets. They can probably design something for you guys to help keep track of uh, uh, who you've already labeled as rookies and first bowmen. Now, honestly, it doesn't really affect me that much, but if you're talking about a product that's based on prospects and prospecting and potential flipping, you're creating confusion in the market. If you want to focus your product on that sect, you're gonna have to clean up that the, that area of it. Uh, don't give someone first Bowman cards more than once, basically. Tops is the worst. I am so sorry about this. To me, it seems like prospectors don't really enjoy 2019 Bowman Chrome based basically on the checklist. Well, just about everyone else collecting this seems to really enjoy it. The one thing I think we can all agree on is that 2019 Bowman Chrome is a bit overpriced. Just wait till next year. I think, think we might actually agree on that. We had a great case of 2019 Bowman Chrome Hobby. Color really popped. Text on the back needs to be bumped up just a little bit and the checklist inconsistencies really need to be ironed out. Other than that, we had a really fun time. And for that, I would rate this binder worthy. All right, now it's your turn to rank 2019 Bowman Chrome. You can vote in the poll at the top of the video here. Rankings include slabbed and graded, top loader, binder, shoebox, and bicycle spoke. Welcome to Gut Reaction. My name is Christopher. Welcome to Gut Reaction, the place where, haha. <laughs> and it seems to me that people are generally, generally, well, generally speaking, everyone else in the hobby, most people haven't heard of all the names that are on the chest like, chest like. <laughs> now, Given that this is a prospect product, where am I going with that? Taking as much advantage of possible, of possible, tops and distributors and resellers. Even the regular refractors are pretty easy to spot this year with the 
Even the regular refractors are pretty easy to spot this year with the number stamped. A problem that's plagued Broman, Broman Chrome. <laughs> Hey, we had a great case of 2019 Bowman Chrome Hobby this year. Really loved the color. Really loved the color. The checklist, you know, they did what they had. Uh, hey, boo. Hey, we, uh, <laughs> we ended up with a really good case of 2019 Bowman Chrome. That sounds like a disease. All right, now it's your turn to rank 2019 Bowman Chrome. Vote in the total. <laughs> Check out this video over here. Make sure you're... Yeah. Hey, did you crack open any 2019 Bowman Chrome? Make sure to comment below, let us know what you pulled. If you want to see what we pulled, check out this video right over here. Also, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future gut reaction videos. And if you enjoyed this one, please give this video a nice thumbs up. And as always, keep cracking that wax.